So let's start here. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions Part 18 Streams. In today's episode, we made a spatial audio concept diagram, made a feed stream concept diagram, and processed five physical audio recordings into one composite, and then we made a new C36635566 composition, which you just heard the ending of. So the idea of spatial audio we've discussed before. We just made a quick rough and dirty um, drawing to share with someone that was interested in it. So this is our brain in the middle, and these are our ears on the left and right, and those black dots are our eardrums, and then the diagram is showing that how close something like this loudspeaker is to our head. Closeness is a factor. The direct line to the left ear and then a shadowed line to the right ear is the shadowedness of a sound. And then here's a helicopter coming down on us from overhead, or here we see the sound waves coming down on top of our ears. Going through the folds of our ears um, is refraction. So those three factors, closeness, shadowedness, and refraction, tend to combine and um, do what's called a head-related transfer function, HRTF. And the point being that just as in real life, like hearing a helicopter, um, the physical sound gets refracted and closed and shadowed, and our brain has calibrated itself over time to say, hey, look up. Um, you can take a pure sound and run it through a digital editor and process it so you get shadow, closeness, and refraction. And that's what we did. We had uh, taken the time and trouble to record a stream aiming our phone with as a stereo phone at dead center. Dead center. Then aim it to the left. Hear a difference and to the right. And then we aimed it up and down. And all of those effects are very subtle. And then we went into our editor program, the center, left, right, lower, and upper. And then we ran them through the special effects thing that you've seen several times by now. And um, we did two things. We made a grand composite file of everything at once, just smushed together with no special effects whatsoever, which sounds like this. Which sounds like it's kind of in the middle of our head. And, and we kind of, in our mind, visualize it as a very, very flat, rectangle like that. And then this is all five switched together, left, right, center, up, low. And we can hear it spread out more this way. For sure, and we kind of visualize it as a, as a flat egg shape. So it's kind of more like this, instead of this. So that was instructive to work with spatial audio. Then we also, as we said, work with a um, feed streams concept diagram. So what we did is we recorded an actual brook, which is the blue tilde, with our phone recorder and got a file. We put it in our computer, ran it through the editor, which you just saw a minute ago, this thing, and then got a resulting file, which we just looked at, which are that thing. So the, that's an example of a feed stream uh, and in multiple dimensions, we're using multiple feed streams. 
Another example when we composed is we had started with our tonality reference area for our 3663 scale. Then we sorted them by note function and made a separate score with cadences. There's actually a, another sheet that comes in front of that, which is a spreadsheet. Uh, then we made a composition, which we worked on yesterday. And then today we spent a lot of time going from the composition into a compressed version. Let me show you that here. So on the left hand side is on the left hand side is the original composition. And on the right hand side is a compressed version. So the original is kind of like this. And we wanted to take the backbone and and make some fast parts out of it. So way down here, we did that. We started taking the backbone and and then so do we also resequenced a bit. So now we got a really fast part instead of da da da. Now we got da 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 da. da. And we also kicked it up an octave in several places where it says plus 12, which as you remember was one of our goals, was to extend the range. So we did extend it an octave. So what we're going to do is play the new updated compress version of this C3663556 composition, and that'll bring us home. And here we go. And what we like about that is several things. We actually ended up with two slow parts, two fast parts, and they each take turns being a three time and a two time. And we even have a solo section in the middle. So we're kind of pleased. We did spend a fair amount of time on this. We kicked it up from 65 seconds to a minute 55. So we added another 60 seconds in there. And the sweet spot, as we have discussed, is 60 seconds to keep interest. And then if you go over that, you've really got to vary things to keep the interest. So we feel like feel like we did that. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time, our ideas for next time are to re-listen to the compressed version and double check our annotation and then our, our good old uh, to be determined. Shout outs to Dragon for asking a question in the chat and Mr. Spatz who came back today. We've missed Mr. Spatz. He came back today. 
So thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Do tune in next time. Do take care and do keep on streaming.